Hi and welcome to this edition of What You Know Wednesdays. Today we're going to talk about codes, codes and more codes. The where and hows of conversion tracking and my name is Shireen Faris Miller. So um, in this post we're going to talk about the different kinds of conversions that is offer, conversion tracking that is offered through Google and Bing. Uh, the first one being the Google AdWords conversion tracking code, the second the Google Analytics tracking code, the third, the Bing conversion tracking code, and the fourth being the Google e-commerce tracking code. So for starters, the Google AdWords conversion tracking code is basically a string of code that is placed on the thank you page. And this thank you page could be different whether it's an e-commerce page or it's a lead generation page. For lead generation, it would be the page right after the user presses the submit button. And uh, once you place that code, what it does is it basically allows AdWords to report conversions to the AdWords interface. And it, the placement of it, it actually goes in between the body tags in the HTML code of your site. Uh, where you can find this code is actually in the AdWords interface under Tools and Analysis. And then you select Conversions. And you want to select the conversion that you actually are tracking. And once you're in there, you want to select the Code tab. And in this code tab, you're going to have two options, whether someone else makes the changes to your site or you make the changes. If you're the one that's going to be making the changes, select I make the changes and you can copy and paste that code in the body tag. And if somebody else, if you have a developer on site, then you want to select the someone else makes the changes and they will actually email your developer this code. So on this page, there's an example of the Google AdWords conversion tracking code and um, the numbers of course have been changed but this basically shows you what it would look like and you can always search for this when you're doing a test conversion afterwards to see if it's working or not. The second code is the Google Analytics tracking code. So what this is is it's a string of code that is placed on all the pages of your website that you want to track. So what it actually does is it tracks the overall navigation of the user on your site and it will later reflect this data on the analytics interface. So you want to make sure you place this code on all the different pages of your site because you want to be able to track the client, maybe see where they lead off, maybe see where they abandon their cart. And it's a really good idea to make sure you have it on your home page and on all the other pages that a user has access to. And where it goes is it basically goes right immediately before the closing head tag. And where you can find this code is in the analytics interface if you go into the admin tab and then you select tracking code tab and then you select how many domains your site uses and the code will appear on the bottom. So the different domains that a site can use oftentimes especially with e-commerce when um, the if your business is using an uh, e-commerce program sometimes when you actually add something to your cart let's say you sell shoes and you add a shoe to your cart sometimes the domain changes to let's say for example secure.shoes.com and in that way you definitely want to make sure that you select two domains or more than one domain and have the right code placed around your site so this is an example of the Google Analytics tracking code and what it looks like and the third tracking is the Bing tracking code so this is very similar to the AdWords tracking code and it's a string of code that is basically placed on the thank you page again, lead generation or e-commerce. What it does is it allows Bing to report conversions to the Ad Center interface. And where it goes is, again, it goes in between the body tags. And this code is found, and this is a little more complicated, but it's in the AdWords interface and you have to select Tools. And under Tools, you select Campaign Analytics, which is under Performance Analysis. And you select your current goal or create a new goal. And once you create the new goal or select your goals, when you press save, it will generate the code for you. And this is an example of the actual code that it will generate. And you place that on your page and you should be able to track your conversions. And the last one is the Google e-commerce tracking code. And what this is, the string of code that is placed on the thank you page, just like the AdWords tracking. And what it does is it allows analytics to report on additional information regarding the conversion, such as order ID, price, location of the sale, or many different things that they can do. And where it goes, it goes on the page after the user clicks the conversion button, and the code is placed immediately before the closing head tag. And there are some links on here that um, are useful to find more information about Google e-commerce tracking. 
and this is also an example so as you can see there is a lot of different things you can calculate the total the tax the shipping the city and um, this basically gives you an overview of what it would look like and of course you would put in your own codes your own client ID number for all these codes and then you can track your pages thank you